Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hello there, future scientists. Come on, let's learn and enjoy the beauty of science, where fun and adventure never stop. I am Sir Emmanuel M. Panis, your science teacher. What are you waiting for? Bring out your ball pen and paper and learn together with your family. Let's begin! The activity is simple. All you have to do is to answer 5 item test. I will give you 5 seconds in every item. You may write your answer on your notebook or comment it in our group chat. Let's begin! Directions Put a check on the blank if the situation shows effect of soil erosion and crust if not. Number 1. Removal of top soil. Number 2. Decrease in food production. Number 3. Increase in temperature. Number 4. Pollution of water. Number 5. Inability of soil to hold water. If you got it right, then you are very good. That's good job. We will continue in our search to identify the different forces that change the Earth's surface. But before that, let us take a look back from our previous lesson. Did you know, Philippines at present has a total of 7,641 islands. It is no surprise that it is a home for a beautiful landforms and a majestic rock formations. Have you ever visited or seen in pictures some of the beautiful landforms or majestic rock formations here in the Philippines? It is not safe for us to travel, but no worries. We will have a virtual vacation. Let us visit some of the majestic rock formations that can be found here in the Philippines. Our first stop is Minalungao National Park in Nueva Ecija. Second stop, Nakabuwang Ark in Batanes. Next, Biri Rock Formation in Northern Samar. And lastly, 
the Lahar Landscape in Satang Bato, Angeles City. You have learned in the previous lesson that weathering is an important process that helps shape Earth's surface. The breaking of rocks result in the formation of soil and different plant forms. This is also the reason why we have amazing rock formations. Also, weathering can either be mechanical or chemical weathering. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature. While chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break down into pieces. But how about soil erosion? We will discuss more about soil erosion on today's lesson. May matinding soil erosion sa bayan ng Nagtipunan sa Quirino Province dahil sa Bagyong Ulysses. Sa kuha ng Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office o ng MDRRMO, Nagkalat ang malalaking tipak ng bato at lupa sa barangay San Pugo. At dahil nasira ang bahagi ng National Road, apektado ang buong komunidad. Ayon sa DSWD, halos limampung mga pamilya o mahigit isang daang mga individual na ang inilika sa Pongo Central School. Sa ngayon, nadadaanan na ang lugar. Nakapasok na rin ang ilang rescuer pero ang ilang nagsilikas, Ayaw nang bumalik sa lugar na nakitaan ng fissure o bitak sa lupa. Humiling sila na inspeksyonin kung ligtas pa ba itong tirhan. Maging ang posibleng relocation site, dapat din daw matiyak na hindi peligroso. What is the news all about? Based on the video, what is the cause of soil erosion? How can we prevent soil erosion? Now, on today's lesson. Today's lesson is all about the effects of soil erosion. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to investigate the extent of soil erosion in the community and its effect on the living things and the environment. The Earth's surface may look the same to you, but it is changing gradually. Earth's landforms like valley, mountain, or its rocks, and even coastlines do not stay the same as years go by. Erosion has caused the changes. Erosion starts with weathering. Erosion is a process in which things break down naturally into smaller pieces or they are transported from one location to another. For example, rock is broken down into very smaller pieces by water and these pieces are transported by wind or water itself from one location to another. When rocks are broken down into different pieces, it does not stay in one place. Some rock fragments become part of the soil. Others are transferred from one place to another, which is called erosion. Materials that are transported due to erosion are called sediments. Deposition is the process by which sediment is deposited in a new location. Erosion of rock fragments contributes to the soil formation as well as formation of landforms. Soil erosion does not only shape Earth's landforms, it also affects the ecosystem especially if it happens unexpectedly. These are the causes of erosion. We have natural forces and man-made activities. Under natural forces, we have erosion by water, erosion by wind, and erosion by glacier. Under man-made activities, we have 
deforestation, overgrazing, kaingin, and overcropping. Number one, deforestation. Forests or brush have been carelessly cut or burned on sloping land. The rain sweeps down the slope in a shift and gradually washes away the soil. Number two, overgrazing occurs when plants are exposed to intensive grazing for extended period. It reduces the usefulness and productivity of the land and is one cause of soil erosion. Number three, kainin. Farmers tend to clear and burn a patch of forest area. They cultivate the area until such time that the soil is no longer good for planting. Number four, overcropping. It exhausts the fertility of the land by continuous cultivation of crops since depleted soil cannot sustain vegetation and often holds less moisture. Number five, erosion by water. One of the most powerful natural force on the earth is water, which causes significant erosions. Rainfall, waves, floods, and rivers cause soil erosion. Number six, erosion by wind. Wind is also a powerful natural force that causes significant erosion in dry areas. Wind usually pick dust and sand particles from the land surface and carries them to large distance before settling. Number seven, erosion by glaciers. The movement of glaciers erodes the land and mountains, which results in the formation of many features. Effects of soil erosion. Soil erosion greatly affects the land and living things on earth. It carries away the topsoil on earth's surface where plants anchor the roots firmly. It changes the land forms on Earth's surface. In many regions of Earth, the rate of soil erosion is much greater than the rate of soil formation. It is estimated that the topsoil is eroding faster than it forms in more than one-third of the world's agricultural land. Effects of Soil Erosion on Landforms Although soil erosion happens every time, the appearance and structure of landform do not change overnight. It would take hundreds of years to change the appearance and structure of certain landforms. One positive effect of soil erosion is having new land formations that become new wonders of nature. Soil erosion can destroy large masses of land. A water seeps through a hill or mountain. Soil may loosen and landslide may occur, changing the shape of the mountain or hill. Some soil particles may be carried to the streams, lakes, and rivers. Excessive deforestation, mining, and conversion of mountains to residential or commercial lands could trigger erosion that can be destructive to the environment. Effects of soil erosion to living things Plants get most of the nutrients from the soil. However, this topsoil is usually carried away by wind and water. Once the topsoil is gone, the nutrients from the plant will be carried away as well. Effects of Soil Erosion to Living Things Too much soil erosion makes the soil unable to hold water. This makes the soil dry, coarse and eventually unfit for vegetation. 
In addition, sediments that are washed away by water can clog irrigation systems and can further inhibit the plant's water supply. The effect of soil erosion in plants would mean less food production. This can affect the animals and humans since plants are the main source of food and nutrients. Aside from the lack of food supply, people who depend on farming as their source of livelihood will have problems if they do not have a healthy and fertile soil to plant. The farmer would have less harvest. There will be food shortage in the community. The food will be expensive and so most people will be malnourished and easily affected by diseases. Farmers will have less income and the economy of the country will be affected. Another negative effect of soil erosion is the prevalence of mine tailings. Mine tailings are the mineral waste or leftovers after the mining process. Erosion brought about by water can wash mine tailings to nearby bodies of water and pollute them. Polluted seas and rivers can affect the aquatic plants and animals, as well as the potable water supply of animals and humans. Aside from mine tailings, people will suffer floods as there are no roots of plants to absorb water. Soil erosion can also damage fisheries and dam reservoirs as siltation happen at the lower ground within the area. In siltation, the soil sediments pile up and become hard like a rock that may prevent cycle of water in dams and fissures. What you see in front of me are three different types of land. The first type of land is just a bare soil. The second type has dead leaves on top of the soil. And the third type of land has plants growing in the soil. When it rains, the water has a power to change the land. And we are going to make rain through this. We cut the top of three plastic bottles and we put the same amount of soil in each of the three plastic bottles. We also use other plastic bottles to catch the water that is going to come out when we pour water in three plastic bottles. What do you think is going to happen when we pour this water into these bottles? Will it be any different from this bottle and the other bottles? Let's begin. So, I am going to pour this water into this plastic bottle which is our setup A and let us see what will happen with the soil. Take a look at the bottle we use to catch the water. What do you notice? Great! It is cloudy. That is because all the dirt in this soil was washed into the cup. The water had the power to take the dirt out of the bottle. The water moved the soil 
and each shape the soil. I am going to pour the same amount of water on this plastic bottle and observe what will happen. Will it be just as dirty or less dirty? Here we go. This set up has a little bit soil particle in that water. This is a little bit cleaner. I think these dead leaves on top help to protect soil underneath from moving with water. Let us do the same process on the third bottle. Let's begin. The water from this bottle really clear and clean. We have to take a closer look on what's really going on. As you can see, the roots of the plants help the soil from washing away too much soil and eroding. Guided practice A. Directions. Identify the cause of soil erosion. Choose from the words inside the box. Deforestation. Overcropping. Water. Glaciers. Overgrazing. Kaingin. Wind. Water and wind. Number one. Farmers tend to clear and burn a patch of forest area. They cultivate the area until such time that the soil is no longer good for planting. Number two, forests or brush have been carelessly cut or burned on sloping land. The rain sweeps down the slope in a sheet and gradually washes away the soil. Number three, one of the most powerful natural forests that washes away the topsoil in agricultural land. Number four, large ice formations that move slowly and form valleys and shape mountains through erosion. Number five, a powerful natural force that causes significant erosion in dry areas. It usually picks dust and sand particles from the land surface and carries them to large distance before settling. Number six, it exhausts the fertility of the land by continuous cultivation of crops. Number seven, plants are exposed to intensive grazing of animals, making the soil bare. Guided practice B, directions, write fact if the statement is correct and bluff if not. Number one, Soil erosion affects both living things and non-living things. Number two, human activities like deforestation and illegal logging can affect the soil erosion. Number three, due to soil erosion, magma is formed. Number four, soil erosion decreases the food production if farmers would have less harvest. Number five, the loss of topsoil can affect the growth of the plants.
sections. Make an illustration showing how the soil erosion affects you or the people in your community. Answer the following questions. Number one, what is soil erosion? Number two, how soil erosion affects the people in community? Number three, how soil erosion affects the plants? Number four, what will happen if the soil is unfit in planting crops? Number five, how soil erosion can cause water pollution? Directions Fill in the blanks with the correct word to complete each thought. Choose from the words inside the box. Directions Make a slogan on how to prevent soil erosion. Directions. Investigate the extent of soil erosion in the community. Have an interview with your grandparents or age in your community about the effects of soil erosion. Use the guide questions. Name, age, gender. Number one, did you experience soil erosion? Number two, what is or are the effects of soil erosion you experienced. Number three, does the soil erosion gave you negative effect? Number four, how it affects your lives or the lives of people near the area where soil erosion happened? Number five, what positive effects of soil erosion did you experience? That's the end of my discussion. I hope that you learned something today. Thank you very much. Till next time, goodbye kids!